have my friend Zach Ledford from Elgin LLC. The company has taglines of zeal, strength, and wisdom. And I just told Zach, I think you guys should put in built to serve in there because just knowing you as a person, I think you've really built something here that is going to be around for the long term. And how that kind of led to you forming business like Elgin and uh, you know what you're setting out to do. So just walk us a little bit through the history. We're in the business at Elgin of, of kind of working in the human resources and shared services space, specifically with technology. Um, and so by nature, that is a people business, right? Mm. And so putting people first and really focusing on that piece of it, uh, I think is, is really a defining feature of Elgin, right? True, we're a technology company. True, we're extremely adept at doing like analytics, statistical analysis, machine learning, integrations, all that good stuff, right? But that's the mechanics, that's the underpinning piece. The important part are, are people, the problems and issues they, they see every single day and how you can kind of overcome those things, right? That's, right. that's what we're in business to do. Um, and so we have done that, you know, in, in a couple different sort of contexts. You know, we've done um, things to simplify workflows between, you know, like a human capital management system and a payroll system, sort of like end to end, uh, ground up total rebuild to get those things in sync and did it in like 10 days right with two people uh, and that's using sort of the the core technology the center of all of it so uh, integration platform as a service ipass technology mm -hmm. um, specifically with, with snap logic uh, so put that in context if you tried to do that without that kind of platform without our expertise it's not going to take you 10 days that's going to take you probably several months <laughs> a few things in particular elgin's really good at one is we don't create hr software like I'm not gonna try to sell you a human capital management system or a payroll system or a timekeeping uh, system. We come with the attitude that you've picked the systems that you have in place for a reason. We're gonna help you maximize the, the utilization of all of those individual pieces into, you know, you know, as, as standalone products, but then holistically comprehensively. So that right. the, so in total, right, the sum is, is greater than, or the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Mm -hmm. right? The question is really bad at the, uh, Call. No, I think we've got the automation, the integration, some of those interconnected pieces of it, but we're also bringing very, very specific and deep expertise in the human resources, people analytics space. And so we're coming with a semi-standardized data model, right? Like that's part of our value proposition to you is that we don't have to start from scratch to figure out how to get the most out of the data you have. The challenge for a lot of places is that the way the data is organized because they have these different applications is going to be different from business to business. But the baseline model you want to use for the analytics, that's fairly consistent if you know what it is. We know what it is because we built it, we've researched it, we've put the time and effort into cultivating it, and we're happy to share that with you. We just also have the expertise to pull your data out no matter where it is to make it you know, sort of fit into that model right. as a starting point. That's an enormous also sort of potential value, I think, that goes above and beyond the automation integration piece. It's really understanding that that baseline model, that structure, and some of the some of the limits, you know, left and right limits and boundaries on it, um, and, and we bring that as well. You you mentioned Snap Logic, right? Which is also a platform that uses sort of the building blocks technology, snaps, which we call them. They're no different than like Lego pieces. A lot of times, I've trained people on our product in less than you know six hours on one day trainings, and what we're doing is really essentially connecting blocks that are systems um, that are you know individual components that we call snaps. They're obfuscating the the code in the back. And you just connect them together and all of a sudden you have a workflow, no different than if you were to build a stack of Legos and have a building or whatever. And it's so funny to me to see like that translate, you know, all these years later now into your life and your business, <laughs> you're using a technology that's kind of like Legos, but now it's for data transformation and data integration. And now you're, you know, building a business with it, which is, which is fantastic. You know, is there anything you can tell me right now I can share with this audience and where they can find Elgin and, and get in touch with Zach? Of course, LinkedIn is one. Now that you've gotten yep. a little bit more uh, <laughs> favorability on there, that's fantastic. So tell tell the audience a little bit about how they get in touch with you and you know what they can expect to start. Yeah, for sure. So absolutely, can find me on LinkedIn. So Zachary Ledford. Uh, you know, there's Elgin LLC .com. That's E L J U N L L C dot com. Uh, and there's you know contact us sort of forms and ability to even just schedule a call right? yeah. and we'll get back to you within 24 hours and, and get something going. Right. Our, our general approach is come to us and start a conversation, right? We're going to gauge where you are, see if there's something that maybe we can help you out with and sort of, you know, gauge fit. Um, 
but it's just it's just a conversation, right? Same That's thing. That's where it all do. starts. Yeah, hundred percent. It's like, what do you have going on? What's top of mind? You, you maybe you reached out for a reason. You're curious. There's a specific you know specific pain point, and we just kind of take it from there. Um, and if it doesn't look like it'll be a good fit, you know, there's been times where we've said to a potential customer, right, who's done this outreach, like they're like, hey, I really want to go down this route. This is what I want to do. And we maintain that we're like, we don't agree with that evaluation, that position. Um, here's why we'd recommend you don't do that. And they said, I want to do it anyway. Can you guys help me do this thing? And we told them, no, we turned down the contract, turned down money, which is probably sounds crazy for a startup. But you got to stay in your lane. You got to, you got to stick with what you believe in at the end of the day, right? Like That's, you guys are trying to, your mission is to help serve people and find the best value that they can, not just the mediocre one, not just the average one. So, That's it. Yeah. That's it. I'm like, we can't in good conscience like charge you money to build something we don't believe in. We just, we just won't do it. Love There's it. a ton of other shops that are willing to do that. Like, and if you want me to call some other people and be like, hey, talk to them, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, hook, I'll hook you up. It's um, like a bad mechanic. Well, I mean, that guy over there, <laughs> I think he could just hammer that out for you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right. They'll be happy. They'll charge you 200 bucks and they'll be happy to do it. Like, right, no right. problem. 